Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our children of God. Hallelujah. We return glory, honor, and adoration back to our God. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the omnipotent, omni science, ever faithful Father. Obatoto sin, obatoto yin, obatoto bega, ariruala, obakonloni, Oba kon la no, oba kon titi aye, ala kon la, oba wa, olorun wa. Oh, we return the glory and honor back to you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you for what you have you have done in our life. What you are say to whine and even hear your voice, even to hear from you and to know where we are and what to do to correct all our ways. Father, minister yourself expressly unto us. We want to see you. We want to know you more. We want to see your mighty hand. We want you to manifest your glory in our midst, O oh Lord. Do that for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you. We pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Our children of God, you are welcome to the one of the consuming fire. The one, thank you for joining us. And as you are joining us, we pray that God will surely manifest His glory in your midst. In your midst, in Jesus' mighty name. This is the one of the consuming fire, and we want to first expand on certain things. The scriptures given to us, Hebrews chapter twelve, verse twenty-eight to twenty-nine. That is where we're starting from today. Before we come to each and every one of us, what is happening in our life and how the consuming fire can work for us, we first want to consider where we have missed it globally. Where we have missed it globally. That is where we want to look at first in a, today. After we be tati shi, gege bi ijoloro, gege bi apapowa, ibi tati omuti ashe, e iti koje ki ni olonu kodon. And now we before we start using the consuming fire to fight to fire our uh, our enemies, what is not happening in our life? Are we being consumed by by 
the consuming fire? Are we consumed by the consuming fire? So we need to look at that first. If we are already being consumed by the consuming fire, then how can we send the same consuming fire to our enemy? We first need to know where we are. And that is what we if we if we look at what he is saying to us now and we look at where we have missed it then we'll be able to know whether we have the power to even call upon the consuming fire to fight to fight for us but if we are not in line with what he asks us to do if we cannot if we cannot vouch if I cannot vouch for myself, you cannot vouch for yourself, then how do we want the consuming fire to work? Because it's three days program, we want to know to start with ourselves globally. Then tomorrow and next tomorrow, we start fighting with all our enemies. But before we can fight with our enemy, we want to first know where we are with God. Hallelujah. The consuming fire. People in our Kalu, Eniti, Onja, Inno, Adjonion, Shekoti, Joan Bai. Are we not going through that fire now? Is the fire not even consuming us? Are we not even being consumed by fire that's supposed to fight with our enemy? Hallelujah. Now let us move forward and see what and what we need to look at today. The consuming fire. I will start with the scripture that is given unto us. That scripture is where we're going to start from. When we look at the scripture, then we now move from there to the next place, then we start praying. Let us look at the scripture that is given unto us, the consuming fire. In Let's look at this scripture, the Hebrew, book of Hebrew chapter 12. Hebrew chapter 12, we want to look at 28 and 29. Let us see what he said. It's, since we are receiving our rights to an unshakable kingdom we should be extremely down our lives in absolute as we lay down our lives in absolute surrender filled with all hallelujah wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve god acceptable with reference and godly fear with we worship god we serve god with what with reference and acceptable fear let's look at another translation and see what is saying there that is this remedy therefore since we are receiving a kingdom built on god's method and principle that can never be shaken let us rejoice and worship God in harmony with his ways in reverence and awe. for our God is a consuming fire a consuming fire of love holiness purity righteousness goodness and truth hallelujah this is what God asks us to do as his children as a jealous God why is God why is God fighting now why are we where we are now we want to look at two things are we really worshiping him the way he said we should worship him he said that the the the, the scriptures make us to understand that he needs to be worshipped why because he is a jealous god then where have we missed it where have we missed it generally god gave us look at that remedy Remedy told us certain things so that God, we have received a kingdom built on God's method and principles. God has given us a kingdom. God has given you and myself a kingdom that is built on what? On his methods and principles. That is where we need to look at ourselves as a church. We need to look at ourselves as a church. God bless you, my moderator for joining us as my wife. God bless you and everyone that has joined us that have not please give us a like love and share and make sure make sure just you follow us so that these three days we don't want you to miss any of the days because it's, it's power packed with names of God with names of God and with 
what we need to do. Hallelujah. We are going to be talking about the names of God and what we need to be doing, what, what we need to do with the names. Let us look at what he said. He said, let us rejoice and worship God in harmony with his ways, with his ways in reverence of. Are we, are we in worshiping God in his ways now? Oh, hallelujah. Are we worshiping God in his way? Now we can, I can see the, the, the social media that is full of this, uh, this sutana is bad. This sutana is not good. We have to do this one. But that is not our problem. Our problem is once we have missed him internally, we have, we are going to miss him outside. We are so cumbersome, like matter, believing that the outside things control the inside. That is not it. The inside control the outside. Where we have all missed it is in our way of worshiping him. Oh, it's in our way of worshiping. God bless you, uh, uh, Evangelist Solomon. God, God bless you for joining us. So let us look at what certain things that we need to look at today. Holy names. In every denomination that God created, God will give every one of us holy name. That holy name is meant to be what? To be reference. How many of the holy names given to us are we referencing now? We are going to look at the first three the aims of worship and the in celestial church of Christ and see where we are and then see what those things have done for us and see how we are now bothering what is not important and then, then we are what looking at what we have left what is important and we are bothering what is not important in our worship. I'm going to start with my denomination, Celestial Church of Christ, and every denomination, whether Crabble and Seraphim, whether Pentecostals, they are all with one unique name or the other. But I'm going to use one as a reference, which is Celestial Church of Christ. Let us look at that. God started with us in every of our services with his holy name. I'm not talking about Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael. That is not what I'm talking about. That is a name. That is just name for prayer. But I'm talking about worship. Because he said he's, made, he's talking about worshiping, that in 26 of Hebrews chapter 12, in 28, he's talking about worship. And then in that 12, for our God is a consuming fire. Why is our God a consuming fire? Because once we miss the worship, he's going to deal with us as he's dealing with the Gentiles. He's going to deal with us as he's going to deal with pagans. He's going to deal with us as he's going to deal with people that doesn't know his sin. That is why, that is why we are, we are. Because we have missed the worship. Let us look at those, those things. The first three things he gave unto us, then we now look at why we are all consumed now. We are consumed now. But we thought we are still worshiping what we are. We thought we are still in the, in the service of God, but not yet. The name El Kana. El Kana is L is the name of God. L and Kana is fire. L Kana. That is the name. That is Hebrew name. That is the name of that consuming fire. God is a name. God, God's name is consuming fire. We have that in so many scriptures that we are going to be looking at in subsequent edition. But we want to first look at where we are. So where we have first missed it is our worship. He said that let us rejoice. And worship God in harmony with His ways, not our own way. We have we are now worshiping God in our own ways now, and we left God. We are not doing it in the way of God and in reference and hall. That is verse 28. For our God is a consuming fire, a consuming fire of love, holiness, purity, righteousness, goodness, and truth. Are we all in this one now? In our worshiping with God, are we are we there now? Now, let us look at what he said. When he gave us a worship in Celestial Church of Christ, I said I'm going to use that denomination as an example. I know all other denominations, they have their names, they have their holy name. The first holy name given to us in Celestial Church of Christ in, in our worship is Jeri Moyama. Jeri Moyama. And that is what, it, that, is, that is when we are going inside Jeri Moyama. Then how are we using that name now? Hallelujah. We have three steps that we're going to look at now. We, and a, a day will come that we're going to look at, we're going to do exposition on the worship. 
the real worship or the divine worship in celestial required. But that is not what we're going to look at. Today. But we're going to look at those three songs, the first three songs, and then see where we have missed it. And then well, because we have missed it, then we are, God is a God of jealous. He's a jealous God. So he's, he's, he's always been jealous with, with us and against us. He will jealous for, for our sake if we are being tampered with by the enemy. And it will, it will jealous against us if we fail to do the right things or to do his way. Now let us look at where we are now. That Jerry Muyama, how many of us now, how many of us that when we are entering the church, by that just Jerry Muyama, how many of us is having ghost bombs in our body? Because the, the song, the name has become just like ordinary name. We are ordinary, that only name, Jerry Muyama. We just go in, in into the house of God, just singing it and out. We don't know the meaning. Jerry Muyama in, Jerry Muyama out. What does that mean? Alpha going in and omega going, going uh, coming out from the from the sanctuary to go with us how far it go, goes with us and the word of god says that we will not live until if your presence will not go with us that name the presence of god is what the angels are watching only i want angelic over your memorial what why are they joyful why are they rejoicing because they are in the presence of god and God gave us that presence to move into his tabernacle. Jerry Moyama. And then we just sing it, we dance it. Even not even that alone. Even in, in clubhouse, in pop, in, 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 in parties, we will just see musician giving us Jerry Moyama. And we just go there and be dancing. Have we ever seen all those people that are in lodge? People that are in the in, in fraternities. Do you ever see them see people singing their song? In a strange land, you see people singing their song outside. No, but because we don't know the potential, the potentiality that is in that holy name, and we just dance. And then, when the presence of God, when we call upon the presence of God as the Alpha to go with us, when the angels are rejoicing in heaven, we are to rejoice too, and we move. So, with what what is this talking about? Then we are connected the heavenly lights. To the to, to, to the to, to the earthly lights. We are commanding, we are invoking. It's an invocation of the heavenly light to come and be with us. Hallelujah. God said he's a God, God of jealousy. Is is what? Is a consuming fire. Now it, when we are going in, we are just going in arbitrarily. We don't even have the, the name we are calling doesn't even matter to us. And we enter the church. Even when the when Jara Sarah is even with People don't even know. Even the person that is lighting the candle does not know how to even move towards the candle in the first instance. He will light, he is lighting the candle and how he lights. That's number two error. Number three, what do you support? We, the congregation, how are we supposed to portray ourselves? I've all missed that. Do you think we don't have a posture that everybody needs to be when that light is being, is being lighted? Everybody will be moving their name too. We don't know the value. And the third one, where I want to be, where I want to stop for just for today on the names is Yarama I Yarama. When that one too is being given to us, when we kneel down to what to worship him, to bow down our head, that is when you see people moving around. That those three our head and worship him in full totality. How are we doing it? What are we doing with those names? That, that that the names that we have bastardized. When we have missed the first worship, when we have missed the reference that he asked for us, you see, he said that in 28 of this version, we should what worship him in name, and we are not doing it in the right way. Then the service is being consumed by fire. Yes. Papa told us that every service that we do in Celestia is being acceptable by God, but not a service that doesn't, that we don't have reference unto God. Now, look at this. And now, look at where we are as a church. Most of us don't even understand the, those, the value of those three names, those three parts of the service. The Yer, Yer, Jerry Moyama. 
Jara Sara and Jarama e Jarama. The, those three things, once we once we bastardize it, that service is just useless because we are commanding, we are invoking some names, we are bringing some things into union with us. And that is when, when we now just do any other thing after that, they, they are acceptable by God. But where are we today? Where are we? People just walk in. If you have, if you know how people in this world, how they respect, if people in, in, in uh, the, the fraternities, they don't just walk into that fraternity of anyhow. They don't just do anything anyhow. But now, we just felt, Ibawani, we can enter into the house of God anyhow. And now, we are being consumed by the fire of God. Hallelujah. We are consumed. All these chaotic things that is happening, it's not just the, it's not the enemy that is working with us. He are working, he are fighting against us. He is the hand of God upon us because we fail to reference him. We are cumbersome and we are bothered about external things when we left the internal things that we need to look at and see is talking to us. Then all those ones are what we lost. And when we lost them, then the God that is a consuming for a jealous God, that is what he called his name. He became jealous with us. Over him, Jehu, now he's, he became, he's not jealous of what we are doing. He's jealous of what we are doing. And because he's jealous, then what now happens? <laughs> oh, then we look at what and what we are passing through right now. We are passing through so many tribulations and we think it's an enemy. It's not an enemy. It is the way that he said that I am a consuming fire. That is verse 29 of Hebrews chapter 12. But before he made mention of that consuming fire, he said, we should do what? Worship him in reference and awe, in fear and in holiness, in purity. Are we doing that? That is where our EU started from. Ibitiati Belesinia won unti when he said i will not go with you i will not I, we will not go from your presence unless you go with us hallelujah are we going are we are we not doing things in our own ways are we not doing things the way that we just felt we should do it now god is speaking up to us he is already consuming us but we have time to change and ni oro of lati kuro ni no awon ai se dede wa ni wa jo olorun in our ways before him our ways before him is what is consuming us not the enemy not the enemy our way that we referencing him even in the first the only names that he gave unto us are we not going to be the one that is going to go to the party and start dancing when they start singing those songs, Oru Kotia, only in Psalm 137, say that how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Are we not singing it in a strange land now? Are we not even dancing to it? Not even singing when we are supposed to do what? To what? To reference, to reference God in with that those names. I, I try to check all the, our aims. God gave Celestial Church of Christ. Holy names that is so that is over hundred that we have in, in our in book. Holy names of God, but most of the holy names they don't matter out to us now. Those holy names don't, 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 they, don't, they don't even matter. We just call the name as as if we are just calling a friend, and that means that we are not referencing him. And because we don't reference him, he has not leave us to where we are. Our one Hallelujah. I pray today as we look at this first day as continuing fire, and then we want to look at the holy name of God, which is telling us that we are already being consumed because of what? Because we fail to reference Him. We fail to reference Him. We fail to do what we're supposed to be doing as children that knows His God. Oh, let me let me give you that passage again. Look at what he said that he, will, he gave us a kingdom. Celestial so Christ is a kingdom. All other denominations, they are all kingdoms that we should what we should walk in it. 
and that is she on Tony Kashi, Nino Bito Fuasi. Then what are we doing? Look, let's look at that place. Uh, that's verse 28 again. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom built on God's method and principle, everything that was given to us in the church is God's method and principle. But then we have just done, we are doing things in our own ways. And then say so that uh, that can never be shaken. Look at how we bastard the church, but the church is not shaken by anything. The church is still waxing strong. Why we are what doing things in our own way? And every that are there, we are just what we are just what we are just doing things the way we like. But what is it telling us that if that if we can rejoice and worship God in harmony with His way, harmony that's what is that is what we left. At is so harmony, no. at is so reference, no. at is so odd. That is at is so ibachepo. Ninu eto domoro welarawa is lost in the in the worship in our worshiping, and we are not doing it in this way. And at the reference that we are supposed to give to God, we are not referencing it, and we are not even giving all the odds that he needs. Now let us look at where we are. For our God is a consuming God. Is a consuming fire. So now a consuming fire of what? Love, holiness, purity, righteousness, goodness, and truth. So we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. He told the children of Israel that if you go outside of my presence and worship other gods, I will. Kill, that's what he said, and devour all, devour all of you. And what is not happening? When we're supposed to be increasing, where are we? Hallelujah. Ibo lawa ni wa jolor. Gege bi abache po ijo. Gege bi bubani akpa po. Where are we? We have all lost the presence. We have lost the names that gave unto us. We have not. We are now. We are now walking in reference unto him. And we are not even respecting him with fear. Hallelujah. And now we are all consumed. Hallelujah. This is not what we receive. People that know this, the church 50 years ago, 40 years ago, understand that this is not what we receive from all our fathers. This is not what we receive. This is just, we are doing it in our own way. And God is telling us today. That he is the one that is working on this as a consuming fire. Because when we when we fail to do what he asks us to do, then he will come against us as a consuming fire. Where are you? Where am I? That is the question for the first day. When we start fight telling God to fight our warfare, we cannot do that when we ourselves. We are or we are said we are not in, in what in the same level with God. We are not in in where, where God put us. Then we want God to fight for us. How can he fight when we ourselves are not obedient to his word? God is speaking to you and is speaking to me. We want to, we are going to be fighting with our we God want God to fight against all our enemies. But we that want to command the hand of God to fight, Ibu Gogoni, Awa Gogonwa, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? That is the question. Where are we? Are we still working in line with his principle or we have left his principle? He said, He is a consuming fire. Because this consuming fire is that it, it, it gave unto us in this Hebrew. It's not talking about extra people. Is talking about the people of the kingdom, people that he gave the kingdom unto. If they have, if they fail to do the right thing, he is going to consume them. Hallelujah! God will not consume, will not consume us in Jesus' mighty name. Where have we missed him? Ebola tishe, Ebola tishe, tati kuno goloro. Oh, Ebola tishe, ti ati kuno ogotiolor fwa. What have we done 
what have we done that make us to miss him? Kini koti ashe eti ogoyo fi fara oni mayowa, and that is what we need to look at today. Only me ati re latu ibola tiche. Afe pe inolo nuko sokale sura water. She inolo only sokale lies je pe awata fe pe awani ibamu. That is the question. Can we call forth the fire from heaven? It, on our enemy, when we that are supposed to call that fire are against the fire itself. Oh, hallelujah. I know this might look not the type of things you want to hear, but that is the truth. You want to hear it that, yes, God is going to fight for you, but how can he fight for you when you yourself, you are, how can he fight for us? How can he do it for God is a what is a our God is a consuming fire. So is this one against our enemy or this one is against us? That is what the question that we need to look at. If it oh yeah, kati joko kati woni e ikpe boni ati she kila ati she is bese wola be ti afishi olorom ikbe se wo lati she ti ati she o tati she olorom. Now let us look at another passage. Then we start asking God for mercy. Ah, no, la ni lo do ni. We need the mercy of God. Tomorrow is going to be warfare against our enemies, and next tomorrow is going to be another warfare. But before we go into that, why don't we just first look at ourselves? Taka warawa ibolati she kilati she e ti God not to answer us the way He used to answer us before. Ti apak bolo ni ba kong. Ni ba meje ati davalo shubo kila kila riloni. Oh, let us look at another passage uh, before we start praying because we are going to end it in just one hour. It's a one hour program. Hallelujah. Let us look at another passage and see what God is saying to you and is saying to me that if we that are called by Him and we fail to to fulfill our part with God, He said He is going to consume us. By himself, we are doing it the way we want to do it, not the way that God Himself laid it down for us. Let us look at Deuteronomy chapter twenty, chapter four, Deuteronomy chapter four, verses twenty. So we want to look at that twenty from that twenty-two. So we want to look at Deuteronomy chapter. We want to look at the book of Deuteronomy. Hallelujah. So when we look at that, we want to see 24. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verses chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Let us look at what God is saying. And let us, let us look at the church now, where we are. Let us look at the church now, where we are. Let us look at the church now, where we are. But because we fail to reference him, we fail to do what he asks us to do. We fail to observe what is given to us. From the first thing at the entrance of the church, the only names he gave to us, the way we're supposed to portray ourselves. Who among us will go to court, will not portray himself, even when you are going to the court, when we are in the presence of God, we do it the way we want to do it. And we think God is not going to, is not seeing that and is not going to deal with us. And it's not dealing with us. We say we are saying that is thing that we need to look at. If us forget, I and mean, let us listen to it very well. Take heed of the Lord your God, which He made with you, and make you and make you a graven image or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God has forbidden thee. Hallelujah. Verse twenty-four. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Hallelujah. We can see this one that is not talking about enemy now. But the power Don't forget that God is God, God of vengeance. He, when we need him to go and avenge our case, he will go there. But where he, we have transgressed against him in our worship, in our behavior, in his presence. Then he became a jealous God and consuming fire. 
only our latishe. Let's see. We have made graven images. In share, our work has become an image against worshiping God. Our business, our own, every even now tied to the title we are getting now is not another image. It's not. It's, it's a graven image against God because those title make us to even see ourselves bigger than God. We see ourselves in title. We don't even see God. We don't even respect God. Even in that title, we just watch. We just walk into the altar of God anyhow because we have so many Baba the gods, and we think we are. We have arrived. Look at what God is saying. That anything that is a graven image, something that makes us to look pompous, or that will not make us to submit ourselves unto God, he call it a, a what? An image against God. And then he said that God forbid those things. Then we become it. It, 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 it consumes us. Oh, what God of our church is what is a consuming fire, and even a jealous God. How many of us can raise up our hand and say that no, me, I don't have any other God. Though. When we have all bring in images, we because now because of this sin, most of us cannot even approach God. We cannot go to the with confidence to the throne of grace to, to obtain mercy. So we have now cut for ourselves new image. So we use things from outside. To help ourselves inside. I pray this this afternoon, evening, or night, whatever the time soon at your end, that God will forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. El Kana consuming fire. The name of God that we deal with his people, not with outside people, with his own people, when they fail to what? To worship him and to and when they when they make a graven image and we do what he has forbidden us. Not to do now. We're going to pray. It was only a few more minutes for we round up. We're going to pray. We have seen and come short of the glory of God. This is a consuming fire. We want to use that name to do what for, for spiritual warfare, but we cannot do that when we have seen move a castle for Lord. They can be individual. I want you to talk to God, Father. We have sinned against you. I have not even or I don't even reference. I don't reference your name. Oh, if it's at his shining, at his being control to echo and what you had been saying, go to echo and lay like this. What you look at that Hebrew, Hebrew chapter that that he gave unto us. Look at what he told us that we have received a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptable with reverence and godly fear are we now with referencing him she and me and let us pray father lord in the name of jesus we know we have sinned against you you look jesus papa what daddy you are who are daddy you are any more daddy you are who are daddy you are the fire that you have set up in our midst the fire of god is already in our midst that is consuming is consuming the look at people as they are dying like fish now as, as if we, this is not celestial where people run into when death sentence is placed on anybody by the enemy we run into the church and then the the sense death sentence is cancelled by the power that is in the church now even people that are supposed to to, to nullify the death, death sentence are the one that is dying now and why i want to hear father forgive me lord in the name of jesus in every way that i've not worship you the way i'm supposed to worship you in every way that I've missed it, and I think I look at myself bigger than you, and which makes you to consume me, which makes you to, to set your fire for me. Oh, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, forgive me, O Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm not going to do it. 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 Oh, Lord, I'm Timon show will be paid, Mini, 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 Mini,
We have all seen and come short of the glory of God. If we can only come back to him, if we can only see where we have missed him, then and come back, he will forgive us. Oh, if my people who are called by my name, if my people who are called by my name, can we, if we can just humble ourselves, if we can humble ourselves, he is very, very faithful. Lati dari jiwa. O cheto lati dari jiwa. Je ka so fo lorun. Oluwa ni oruko Jesu. Baba, wa dari jimi. Wa dari jimi. Ni bo ti mo ti se si o. Ni no ra ti ninu ise. Oluwa wa dari jimi. Oluwa dari jimi. Oluwa dari jimi. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Today we are not going to be using the name of God to fight our enemy. But we want to use the name of God. To forgive, to, so that he can forgive us all our sins and we, so that we can move out of where, where we are now and be able to move in into where we are, where we're supposed to be. Oh, Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, we will not live here. Father, what steps have I taken that makes, that I don't even look, we well, don't even walk with your presence. See me, oh, draw day. Can you just open your mouth and pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, for every step that I've taken, without recognizing your presence, in the name of Jesus, Father, forgive me, Lord. Can we open our mouth and pray? Can we talk? Can we just open our mouth and talk to God? Father, in the name of Jesus, in every way and every way that I've sinned against you, the Bible no Timothy says, "Yo, me uruko Jesus, holo adarije me, emi mo adarije me, holo adarije me." Oh, God, right, Dada, you need this is what you need. You need that you are filled to allow His presence to go with us. We just walk into His service. We just walk into that into His tabernacle. Even here in America, it's even worse that we don't even know whether where we are is, is the house of God or is even our own house. So we have so many things that the enemy has done, has given unto us. Oh, we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Father, in every any every area that we have sinned against you, come and forgive us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, forgive us. In the name of Jesus, Father, forgive us. In the name of Jesus, oh, forgive us, O Lord. Oh, without allowing the presence of God to go with me, without allowing the presence of God oh, to go with us as a church, oh, Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. We are praying today because as a church, tomorrow we'll be praying individually. That is when you can find, but Kotule is a Koloqua Jaffway. We will not want to Bamu, Beloloro. We will not want to Bamu, Beloloro. Father, in the name of Jesus, in every way that I don't wait for your presence before I take or I, I take my I take the lead, even instead of you to lead me, I'm taking the lead by myself. Father, forgive me, O Lord. Holo wa dari jimi, Baba dari jimi, Holo wa dari jimi, Holo wa dari jimi, Holo wa dari jimi. Father, forgive me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, forgive me. In the name of Jesus, Father, forgive me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are moving forward to another one. He said, we fail to reference in. We fail to reference in. Hallelujah. Look at that passage in King James that we are not referencing God and we are not even having fear. We don't have godly fear. Verse 28. Ibi Tati shegebi joloro. Listen, we are so we are we are always looking at oh start at all da kini If those if we know how to fear God, how can we wear a wrong sutana? If we know how to fear God, how can we do something that's wrong that is wrong? It's just because we've missed it internally. We are fighting outside. We don't need to fight outside. Let us go back and ask him again, Father. In any way that in every way that I've not referenced you. And I don't have a godly fear in your tabernacle. Even when your name is being called, Father, forgive me, O Lord. Oh, you bad, right? Oh, you bad, right? Oh, you bad, right? Oh, you bad, right? Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray, O Lord, in any way or every way 
that have not referenced you and I don't have godly fear. Oh, Father, forgive me. Oh, Lord, daddy, Jimmy. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, in any way that I've not referenced you and have not act in godly fear in your house, even at your presence, Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Oh, Lord, forgive me. In the name of Jesus. Father, forgive me, O Lord. Oh, Lord, daddy, Jimmy. Oh, Lord, daddy, Jimmy. Oh, Lord, daddy, Jimmy. Oh, Lord, daddy, Jimmy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to now pray for the, for the church. I don't know your denomination, but whatever denomination you are in, we can still pray for it. We can intercede according to what we have in that determination, chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. Covenant of the Lord your God. Father, we are at a graven image. Hallelujah. I want to give us one song that when we sing that song, we don't know that we are making covenant with God every time. <laughs> oh, Aman Kawori Kony Nimi Jobimo. Tava de Kory Aumukwe She Lan She She Lam She Ameki and She Ma Jebu Kololoro. Only a kokori be Jesu Emi Yo Sinyo Jesu Emi Yo Sinyo ni bibi mo yi lan in jo lare emi yo sinyo chiti do kwi emi yo mugu kun rele is a covenant song. You are making the covenant with God every time you sing church and you say that Jesus, Emi Yo Senor, you say that every time you sing that song. And when you that's why I said that most of the things we do in church, we are doing it without putting our consciousness on it. And she on continue a few kosi, we go badra, ulwa. Wherever I've not fulfilled the covenant or have forgotten the covenant you have for that's verse twenty three of that Deuteronomy chapter four. Father, forgive me, O Lord. Oh, forgive me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the covenant that I have with you. Oh, the covenant I have with you, O Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, forgive me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, forgive me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, forgive me, O Lord. Hey, oh, in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are making what? A graven image unto you, unto God, against God. That God is talking to you now. Father, forgive me, o Lord. Forgive me, o Lord. Oh, forgive me, o Lord. In the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me, o Lord. In the name of Jesus. Forgive me, o Lord. In the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Father. In Jesus' mighty name again. Another song, another song that I want you to understand that when you sing that song, you are making the covenant this one. Moti for wame kowe o ureri emi koni padamo losi no e jobi mo moti losi no e jobi mo moti for wame kowe o ureri emi koni pada. So you are making a covenant with those songs. Those are the covenanted songs that you have sung against the, to God, and now you are not with Him. He said He is a consuming fire and a jealous God. Father, Lord, we thank you this, this evening, this afternoon, and this morning, depending on where you are at the planet head. Father, Lord, forgive us. As a church, we come before you, Lord. I was watching you get the Jolon Ralai, Tati Mukati, Deshesi, Ninoro, Ninoche, Nino. Even in, in our covenant with you, we have sinned against you. Father, forgive us, O Lord. Father, Lord, as we go in the two, the three of this Consuming Fire series, oh, go with us, O Lord. As we go, Lord, go with us, O oh Lord. O Lord, my power, Lord, feel good, eh? Feel young, eh? Je carry on, you know, you know, O Lord, think about that, my people. We could judge the baby in our journey. Glory, I want that one. My dear, my dear, for Satan and Yah, that if we ask you, why you're at the people to go, we thank you because you have answered us in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Ah, I want to appreciate everyone that has joined us. Everyone, Titi Lola, Obey, God bless you for joining us. And everyone that have not mentioned his name, I say thank you for joining us. Tomorrow we'll be talking about what you need to say to God to put his hand to, cons to, to consume, to, to, to draw fire upon your enemy as a consuming fire. Tomorrow, join us 3 p.m. Easter time, 2 p.m. 
uh, Central Time and 12 noon Pacific Times and Nigerian and UK Time 8 p.m. And as you are joining us tomorrow, this tomorrow is going to be for you now to fight your battle. I pray that God will surely fight our battle for us in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and communion of saints rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Seven hallelujah to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Everyone that we have on the YouTube channel too. God bless you for joining us on YouTube channel. You say God bless you all. Thank you for joining us.